You know you're in Bible Bee when. Can I do Bible Bee this year? Bible Bee? What's Bible Bee? Well, it's where NBBC HQ sends you a DJ, and you have to study it along with all the CRs, MPs, GWs, and SP as a part of the SS. And then you take a QT to see if you're one of the NBBC qualifiers. Then you really study your RA and memorize the FRs and the ERs if you haven't done those already. You also take lots of PTs and then go to Nats, where you have lots of fun in the FFR, take a CBT, and everyone tells you GJ, even if you get eliminated in the NBBPC. Afterward, you get terrible PBBWS and fill pages of documents with YKY IBBWs. Please? You may be in Bible B if this happens. What profit is it if we slay our brother and conceal his blood? What is he saying? Hey, Barb! Oh. What, Susan? The neighbor boy just said he's gonna kill his brother and hide his blood! What are you talking about, Susan? What profit is it if we slay our brother and conceal his blood? You know you're in Bible Bee if, when you are given the choice between an ancient grains bar and a regular bar, even though you like the regular bar better, you choose the ancient grains bar just to be a good Bible Bee. Or if you jerk suddenly whenever someone mentions the Dutch Blitz. Did you say Dutch Blitz? Jeremiah 2911, for I know the plans I have for you, declares the Lord, plans to prosper you, not to harm you, plans to give you a hope and a future. Jeremiah 2911. You know you're in the National Bible Bee when you come home from the National Competition and everyone asks you how the spelling bee went. Hearing someone mention Hudson Taylor makes you think of the Von Traegers. You have a certain gray wristband that is of a lot of value to you. If your non-BB friends have nicknamed you Strongs from Strongs Concordance because they think they can ask you almost any question from the Bible and you will answer citing chapter and verse, then you know you are definitely in Bible B. You know you're in the National Bible B if you have ever fallen asleep with verse cards all over your bed. You know you're in Bible B when your enunciation has greatly improved ever since you started preparing for nationals. If you sing, Oh, where are my verse cards? Oh, where are my verse cards? Oh, where, oh, where, not here, not there, oh, where, oh, where, oh, there, are my verse cards. If you have attached verse cards to the walls of your shower so you don't waste any time, or if you have a pile of pen pal letters to respond to after Nats, then you're probably in Bible B. You might be in Bible B if you have created an index card shortage at your local walk. You know you're in Bible B when your YouTube and Google searches consist of scripture songs and cross-reference searches. You know you're in Bible B when you wake yourself up in the morning quoting verses and you get really excited because you finally got your passage word perfect only to find out that it was only a dream you know you're in bible b when what are these oh these are my bible b verse cards i thought that already happened yeah well i get separation anxiety when i stop carrying them around oh i know bad habit of mine <laughs> You have often started quoting a psalm and ended it with a different one without knowing it. Psalm 95, 3-7 For the Lord is the great God, and the great King above all gods. For all the gods of the peoples are idols. Wait, no, that's Psalm 96. If your standard reply for what have you been up to becomes Bible B. Hey, what have you been up to? Well, Bible Bee just started last week, so I've been busy with that. Hey, have you been doing anything fun lately? Yup, Bible Bee. What have you guys been doing lately? Bible Bee. The test is next week. Hi, what have you been doing? Well, I qualify for that, so I'm still doing Bible B. Hey, 
Hey, anything exciting been happening? Bible week. Hello, what have you been doing? Good, I'm busy with Bible week. How's Bible week going? Well, it just finished a couple weeks ago. <laughs> Then you know that you are definitely in Bible B. You know you're in Bible B when. Don't you just hate gnats? But I love gnats. You know you're in Bible B when the only proper way to have confetti is with a deafening bang. If you thought you were good at Dutch Blitz, but you can never seem to win a game at nationals. Your parents actually get called Mr. and Mrs. You walk into a hotel with a bunch of other contestants at the competition and some people sitting in the lobby ask you, did you win? If you've seen Denver Von Traeger leap for joy, Seth Ross leap onto stage, and Mia Fuller and Julie Pan sit down during the middle of finals. <laughs> and you have also witnessed the bathroom exodus. Dun dun dun! People think you have the whole Bible memorized, but one of the biggest things you've learned is how little you actually know. Your dentist asks you a question about Bible B when he sticks his hand in your mouth every single time. If you can think of a Bible beer for every actor's name in the movie credits, then you know you're in Bible B. You know you're in Bible B when you feel like a soggy beaver nugget after coming home from that. You're definitely in Bible B if this happens. Amen. What I shall choose I cannot tell, for I am in a strait betwixt you, having a desire to have ranch which is far better. Nevertheless, to take care of my flesh is more needful. Or this has happened. What grade are you in? I'm a junior. Cool. Oh, I'm talking about high school, sweetie. It goes freshman, sophomore, junior, senior. Oh, I thought it went beginner, primary, junior, senior. Or you get sentimental about having to throw away anything that you brought or used with you at night. And broke. Get a new one. Can't! It was the pen everyone used to sign my program at Nationals! You know you're in Bible B. When? After you come home from Nats and people ask if you won, you want to say yes, but it would be too hard to explain. You crack up when you remember it took one month to memorize one verse before you did Bible Bee. You need to laugh, so you go look at pictures of Bible beers attempting to square dance and end up laughing so hard you cry. If your year is divided into frantically studying for Bible Bee half the year and then madly studying to catch up on school the other half of the year, then you know you're in Bible Bee. If purple becomes a primary color, then you are definitely in Bible B. You will know that you are in the Bible B if you sign up at www.biblebee.org. These commands that I give you today are to be on your hearts. You shall teach them diligently to your children, and shall talk of them when you sit in your house, and when you walk by the way, and when you lie down, and when you rise. Tie them as symbols in your hands, and bind them on your foreheads. Write them on the door frames of your houses and on your gates. This book of the law shall not depart from your mouth. You shall meditate on it day and night, so that you may be careful to do according to all that is written in it. 
for then you will make your way prosperous, and then you will have good success. But he knoweth the way that I take, and he hath tried me, I shall come forth as gold. My foot has held fast to his steps, I have kept his way, and have not turned aside. I have not departed from the commandments of his lips. I have treasured the words of his mouth more than my portion of 